Just as with inventory and accounts receivable, there are two ratios for accounts payable efficiency. The payable turnover ratio, which indicates how many times payables turn over in the period, and the payable days ratio, which indicates how many days on average it takes for the company to pay its bills. Let's start by examining the payable turnover ratio. It's calculated by taking the cost of sales and dividing it by the accounts payable balance, either at the end of the period or an average over an entire period. That indicates how many times in the period the payables turn over. For example, if the ratio is 2, that means the company pays its entire accounts payable balance twice in the period. Now let's look at the payable days ratio. It's calculated by taking the accounts payable balance at the end of the period or an average, multiplying it by 365 days in the year, or however many days are in the period being examined, and then dividing that by the cost of sales or the cost of goods sold. That indicates how many days on average it takes for the company to pay those bills. So, for example, if the result of this ratio is 30, that means on average the company pays its bills that are related to cost of goods sold in 30 days. It's worth noting that there can be areas of the income statement outside of cost of goods sold or cost of sales where the company has payment terms, meaning they don't pay everything right away. Employees are paid essentially right away, but other items below cost of goods sold may also have payment terms. You could include those line items in your analysis, although it is often a lot harder to get good detailed information on those other line items. So typically it's only implied to cost of goods sold. 